Hi, this is Jason O'Dell with another Capture NX2 tip. Today I'm going to talk about versions, and I think this is a very underutilized feature of Capture NX, and it's one that is uh, really conducive to um, workflow because it allows you to save multiple variants of your same image all within the same NEF file. And so this works if you, uh, you can use versions with your NEF files, or if you're a JPEG shooter, you can save your JPEG as a NEF um, and then create versions. So here's an image on the screen that I've already gone through and, and processed. And at this point in my workflow, this is about where I would decide that I'm pretty happy with the way the image looks. Um, I haven't cropped it or resized it or done anything like that. This is pretty much my master image. And so at this point, what I want to do is create a new version. And I do that by clicking on the version menu at the top of the edit list. And then you get this dialog that says new version. And usually my master version is something that I call master. So I'll type master into the field and click OK. At this point, if I save the file, that master version is something that I can always revert to. So if I go back to the versions list, you see there's master. You, one thing you have to remember about versions is that any changes I make to the to the file in the edit list, uh, either in the develop section or the adjust section, uh, won't be added to the current version. The version you can think of it as a snapshot in time of when you made it. So you always want to make versions as the last thing you do when you're pretty satisfied with with the way the image turns out. Now let's say, for example, that I wanted to make a crop of this image into a into a portrait orientation. So I could use the crop tool, apply the crop, and maybe I want to resize this to be a 4x6. So I'll go ahead and I will make it a 4x6 image. Click apply. And so now I've added two steps to the edit list, the crop step and the size resolution step. I could go back to my version menu choose new version and then on this one I'll call 4 by 6 and I'll click OK and now I have 4 by 6 in the version list. Notice, all, uh, notice also that you can go back to the last save version or the original which is the as shot settings so if I click this the whole image would revert back to the way it was originally shot straight out of the camera. If I wanted to go back to my 4 by 6 I could just click 4 by 6 and it will, after a few moments, re-render on the screen. So that's how you can work with versions and remember you need to save the file after you create any versions so that they're stored within your NEF. It's a very powerful tool. You can have as many versions of you, as you want inside a single file which really can streamline uh, the number of files you have to have lying around on your computer. Because if you think of the alternative, if I made a separate JPEG or separate NEF file even for each of these images, I'd quickly uh, be running out of hard drive space. So this is a great little tip. I think it's something that I use all the time and uh, it's a good thing to know. So if you've got any more ideas, you can uh, check out my website at www.luminescentphoto.com and I will see you next time.